Welcome to the 22nd episode of the Broken Pictures podcast slash YouTube show, where we talk about the top three things in pop culture and entertainment that you may have missed this week. There could potentially be spoilers for your favorite TV shows, movies, video games, and or comics. You have been warmed. Not warmed, <laughs> but warned. This is <laughs> the, the FOMO, FOMO show. show. Hey guys, this is Dylan. And I'm Lydia. This is Quinn. And once again, we'd like to say thanks for joining us by YouTube or pa podcast, however you're joining us today. Hello to all our new watchers or listeners in the States and internationally and beyond. Wee -woo. A special thanks to those of you that are coming back to this crazy and wacky weird stuff that we do. Uh, if you want to keep the conversation going or support the show, you can, of course, comment below. But you can also find that info in the episode notes or the website at www.broken.picturesno.com. <laughs> Gotta be Dylan over there. <laughs> also, leave us voice messages or questions that we can play on the show. Go to www.anchor.fm forward slash the FOMO show to talk to us. YouTube viewers, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon for our new notifications. Ding. Ding cute guys podcast <laughs> listeners please leave us five stars in your podcast app boom thank you all right so we just got a couple little notes uh happy fourth of july <laughs> you gonna have to move that microphone so they can see that awesome vest it is super cool <laughs> festive yeah. Makes you want to roll tanks down the mall in DC, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to go Too, far. Too far. Too <laughs> far. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> take it or leave it, whatever. So, we do have a question for everybody. Um, we are considering going live uh, and, and, and showing uh, first, of course, on YouTube, going live on YouTube, and eventually. If, if not at first, uh, eventually on Facebook Live as well. And uh, maybe even on Twitch, depending on how things go or whatever. Um, but it, if we do that, it'll, prob it'll probably be Tuesday mornings or Tuesday noonish or something like that. We haven't uh, talked about that in detail just yet. But we want to know what you guys think. I know for me, uh, editing the show, uh, getting it out later in the week after we have talked about things that happened earlier in the week and then more has happened it, it just kind of some of the stuff kind of falls flat or it is not as updated as it should have been when we first talked about it so a live show would suit this type of show better i think and uh that would cut down on editing on my end where we could just do everything in the moment and when it's out it's out it's there and uh and afterwards all i all i have to do is just kind of cut up the pieces or, or do other things you know and it's already out there and i don't have to spend hours editing so i know it would be helpful for me but i want to know as listeners watchers and the podcast of course would also get out faster too because it would post right after um or that day it would be out on tuesday so I want to know what you guys think because we're interested in the viewers and the listeners and, and uh, you guys are what makes the show. We would just be doing this in a vacuum if it weren't for you. So, uh, and sometimes we do, <laughs> but we do it because we like it. Um, so what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Um, shoot us a message. If you know us personally, say something. Uh, that way we can kind of gauge if people would be interested in that type of thing. So appreciate that. Yes. You guys have anything to say about that? I think you said enough. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've, we've already talked about it, so. So, spoiler alert. Uh, if you don't know, we're going to get into spoiler territory. Uh, especially this episode, there is some very spoilery things, so be careful. Um, yeah, you can scroll ahead or look in the episode notes to kind of see what we're talking about. And if you want to listen to that part or not, or later, you can always come back. I know that we, you know, we film on a certain day, whatever. You can always come back and listen to the episode later. Always, always. So, 
with that, what are you guys into this week? What are you watching? What are you listening to? What What's good in music? What's good in comics? What's good in pop culture? What's so, good? What's good? Maybe we should change the whole segment to what's good. <laughs> no, because half the time we talk about crap that ain't. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're of course we're the FOMO show, fear of missing fear of missing out. So with the stuff that we've watched this week, we're gonna tell you what should you do you think or we're gonna tell you if we think you should miss it or don't miss it. That was like a really weird yeah, that was roundabout true. way to say okay. it. But anyway, if you you know, tell us what tell us what's good out there, tell us what you watched that was crappy, you know, comment below, let us know what you think as well. I read some books this past couple of weeks. I've been reading a, a unfinished series, which I hate. So <laughs> if you're an author, please don't put any of them out until you're just done. Because it's so Martin. frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> like, even if it takes years, I don't care. Like, just wait. Because we're not going to be satisfied if it takes four years for the next one to come out. Um, so I was reading an Amelia Hutchins series. Uh, I can't remember what the series is called, but it's like, uh, playing with monsters. Uh, and it was really good. If you're into that, like fantasy and lore kind of thing. Um, but I will say it was super duper dark. Mm. Uh, so like, if you're not into that, like darker dark. than true blood. Well, darker than Game of Thrones. It is um, like what are those books called? Romance novels. <laughs> well, yeah, but, I mean, it was like in the in the first page of the book, she has a, a warning that says, "Hey, if you don't like graphic things, and if you don't like death, yeah, I mean, there's a warning on the first page of it, and she literally says, "Stop reading if you don't like sex or death." Uh -huh. <laughs> and so. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was really a good series. The book is so graphic, there's a seizure warning at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for laughing at my stupid joke. If you don't, if you, I know you're seeing the edited version, but behind the scenes, I, I started it and I couldn't remember what to say. So I. Because I'm me, I Why had don't to you say just the not joke. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> because that would just be too much. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, we watched <laughs> Spider Man into the Spider Verse for Pizza Movie yes. Night. One of my new favorites. New favorites? It's been a favorite. Yeah. Well, since it came out, it's a new one. So. Uh, you watched Logan with Maeve and JoJo. Yeah. Why? I, did. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's, well, that's because cute. it's a great movie, it's a classic. But I did not. It's not it's a like, classic if it's only a year old. It is. It is. Old. It is one of those that is like a a new classic. Like it is amazing. Uh, but just like Jaws, I forgot that there were there was toplessness in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. When, when he's in the um, when he's driving the the limo mm -hmm. and he's got the girls in there, they kind of pull it down oh. for a minute. Yeah. I was Jojo was like uh, maybe twelve or something, and I was watching Jaws because it was rated PG thirteen. And <laughs> lo and behold, topless chick runs across the screen. I was like, "Did you catch that?" And he's like, "Yep." I was like, "Well, it's done now." <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, that's funny. It's whoops. <laughs> so you're just saying that it's going to be a classic. No, technically it's I'm not yet. It's already it hasn't transcended time and trends. Because I, I just I think googled it, the definition of what makes a in classic my movie opinion, a classic movie. It is already a classic. Yep. I think it has. All right, it let's has put achieved, the classic stamp on it. It has achieved that status already <laughs> in my mind. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> um, what did you watch this week? What did I watch this week? I watched a bunch of YouTube videos. What have I watched? It's been a busy week. Uh, videos on things. Uh, no, I, I <laughs> Don't watched. Miss them. <laughs> I watched about six times. It's a twenty-minute demo of a Star Wars: A Fallen Order, which is a game that's coming out this November. And yeah, don't miss that video because it's gonna make you want to play the game. Mm. And I kind of feel like the game's gonna end with Kylo Ren killing you. So I'm like, yeah, let's let's do this. Cool, cool, cool. So, and uh, I caught up on a lot of comics 
forgot how behind on comics I was. It was yeah. A, no, it was what I read. Uh, caught up on Doomsday Clock. I uh, caught up on all of my flashes. I caught up on all of my Superman comics and Justice League Odyssey. Wow. Um, how long did that take you? 20 minutes. No. <laughs> like, they're this thin. It was like four hours because I do voices in my head when I read it. Nice. So it's like a little movie to me. Very cool. Oh, that's about it. Very cool. Out of those comics, which one do you feel like people can't miss? Even if they're not comic book readers, like what can't they miss? I'm going to say Doomsday Clock because all the other ones, there's not too much craziness going on. They're doing a thing now with Superman and Flash. Like they're like, it's three issues of three part comic that uh, is their year one. So I just read all Flash's year one and oh, it was pretty sweet. And it was, you know, Barry Allen starting out. Oh, he was hmm. dumb. That's okay. <laughs> of course he was. <laughs> He's so. in, his last name is Allen. <laughs> Um, what but, does that have to do with anything? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking him and Wally West, but Wally West, of course, duh. But yeah, all the flashes are like, they have a certain personality that's kind of, yeah, they're kind of goofballs. Heard. Yeah. But uh, yeah, don't just do the clock. I mean, it, it's been, it's not, it's been slowly growing because the comic's been out for a year. A little bit over a year, because oh, no. it came out May of last year. Um, and it's just a 12-issue series, and it's slowly growing. It's a very good mystery, if you like mysteries. Uh, it also has a lot of action. It's a crossover between The Watchmen and basically all of DC, and Dr. Manhattan is broken. So, yes. Hmm. And I, I, when I first saw that, I was like, because I'm a huge <laughs> Watchmen fan. But... It seems like they're really doing it well, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. You said it, it came out last year, like it it all came out last year, or is it Just still releasing one. new still comics? Still releasing, because this one came wow. out. So it's still ongoing. Yeah, like, wow. but the dates that are on the bottom of these, I was looking at them, I was like, this doesn't make sense, because I have two. This one's May 2018, this one's May 2018, but these, this is July, March, and then I kind of, it hit me. It's when the comic takes place. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, like, these are in the same month. This is a month before. This is a month after. Hmm. And so on. So oh, I was wondering if maybe they, like, some of them got pushed back. Because I know when they were doing some, I know uh, when I was following the first Civil War, some of those got pushed back. And, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. As far as I know, none of them got pushed back. They just come out, like, every other month. So, hmm. it's taking them a minute. Hmm. It's a Interesting. Bad. But don't miss it. It's good and once you can find all of them you can read the whole thing and it's like oh they should just make this a movie or um, yeah i wouldn't doubt if they did One yeah day. and we're gonna get into that more so stay tuned but now are we all good done okay i think so because <clears throat> i like, had the scratchiest throat the number one movie of the week is Toy Story 4, and f oh yeah, congrats Toy Story, you're 98% fresh, Again. and like even your audience score is pretty high, uh, yeah, it's 94%, and I haven't seen it yet, so I'm just going to give it 100%. I, I, yeah. right. I hear it's really good, I mean it's only dropped 1%, that's pretty dang good, especially week to week, like we talked about last week, the uh, Men in Black International dropped literally to like 5th place or something like that. Uh, in a week's time, so I think it's gonna get dethroned today, though. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Spider Man Homecoming comes out. Yeah. There? So yeah, Far Spider Man Home. Home. Far I mean, from whatever. Home, yeah, it comes out to, on a Tuesday, so they're awesome. really, really like turning up on a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, uh, so. <laughs> That was the whitest thing I've ever heard that sound. Oh, well. I, that's, that's how it sounds to me. <laughs> Anyways. I'm not saying it was bad. I just oh. said it was super white. <laughs> well, you know, I am white, so. Um, the Yeah, so they're releasing it on Tuesday, which, I mean, I've seen them release it on, like, the earliest on Wednesday for, like, a special occasion where they're trying to rake in more dollars. But on a Tuesday, I know they released it in China first. So that's kind of like, you know, for an for an American film, it's like, eh. When does Lion King but come out? 
Lion King is set to smash records. Yeah. But when does it come out? Uh, this month. This month. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got the 4th that comes out. The, the, I mean, the 4th of July is this weekend, so I wouldn't want anything to come out after think, or during. So I would want something to come out before. Yeah. Plus, yeah. it's summertime. Kids aren't in school. People and aren't going to have money after the 4th to go see it. Yeah. And it's the same company. So they're yeah. not going to step on their own toes. With the Lion King? D yeah, Disney and Marvel. Yeah. Which is like, if you, I mean, we're not really going to get into it in detail, but the whole Avatar in game race, like Disney's just like, yeah, bring it. It's like, because they own Fox now. So. What's the point? You just own both of them. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Well, but now we're going to show you the new releases. Yep. On disc and digital and in theaters this week, right now. And now the top three in pop culture this week. Number one, The Witcher. Bum, bum, bum. Which, y'all seen them pictures? Henry Cavill yeah. never made platinum look so good. I know the original photo, the teaser that they put out, the wig was kind of questionable looking, but now it looks pretty good. So yeah. hopefully they listen to some folks. And it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Yeah. I wonder, because I know the video game gets kind of graphic. Oh, it gets beyond graphic. You can yeah. kill a baby. Oh, <gasps> Yeah, but I mean, like, sexually oh, and yeah. everything. It's like, I wonder where if the series is going to go that far. It has to. It, for it to be I like, would think so. I would hope so. For well, it to be... Go ahead. Go ahead. No. For it to be true to series, and he has to poke somebody once. Just, <laughs> would, you, would, you pull the, <laughs> would you pull the mic a little closer? Oh. Say it again. No, I think you're okay. fine. I just okay. noticed that it was like further away. Oh right. my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That's hilarious. But yeah. poke somebody reading... like with this sword? No, you no. dummy. <laughs> <laughs> like Facebook poke? What are we talking about? Can you not? Like we didn't have to take it that far. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what is what this hashtag thing? Dad, dad jokes? <laughs> um, I was looking at what some people were saying on Twitter about it that this the game series is more no hold on let me let me hit that again that the said. book series the book series <laughs> is more graphic than the game series mm -hmm. and so the show is supposed to be tied to the books not oh, the game really yeah. so i didn't know there was a book series you mean is it a comic book series or no, is it no, book it's, it's books it's books Wow. The first two are short story mm -hmm. uh, novellas. Is that what it's called? And then I think there's, what, five more that are just novels. Okay. I tried to get them last night. So I don't know if any of y'all are like big book readers or anything, but I feel kind of bad because I don't want to pay for books, <laughs> but I also feel bad not supporting the <laughs> author because I want to be an author one day and I'll be like, why are these people ripping off my books? But EPUB, thank you so much for everything you've done for my life. <laughs> but they weren't on EPUB and they're the, the first two are $6.99 a piece. I mean, that, I'm that, no, not, not bad. bad for a book, but I can go to the library tomorrow and go get it for free. So why wouldn't Perhaps. I? But... I didn't get to read it, but I read like the reviews of the first book or whatever, and they were pretty good. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to read it. It's like very folklorish. Essentially, mm -hmm. the character is a monster hunter, mm -hmm. but along the way, he's finding out that people are the true monsters. It's mm -hmm. like kind of like a Scooby Doo ish kind of thing. Yeah, or uh, it seems like in game or not pff, in game. Are you okay there? <laughs> game of Thrones is kind of like. There was another, I want to say maybe Game of Thrones, but there was another series where it was like, the people are the real, oh, pff, d The Walking Dead. The oh, people are yeah. the real monsters. That's what it was that I was thinking about. So, yeah, so that, um, which came first, the book? Yes. Or the book came before yes. the game series? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the oh, wow. The game series is based on the book, 
but it's oh, like really? kind of loosely based. <clears throat> okay, okay. Yeah, so they... the... Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying the game series, this is one that I've been wanting to play, but because I love that type of RPG, uh, like the fantasy series stuff, that's like my favorite kind because I'm, you give me some Dragon Age or some Skyrim or, or Elder Scrolls, unless it's MMO, I'm not, I don't really like MMO stuff, but just like single rpg storyline and i i will disappear well this has been a big deal in europe for a long time he's a polish author oh, really? um so this has been a big deal in europe for a long time like hmm. we're just now catching on to what's going on really? like by making the series hmm. um i'm interested to see or hear if any of y'all are live in europe are y'all offended that americans decided to make this a Netflix series? Like, surely not. not I, I mean, I mean, I feel like it's fine, but Netflix, I might be a little uh, upset. Like, hey, why can't I do it? You yeah. know, like, what if somebody over there has been trying to do it for a long time? Well, but Netflix does support a lot of international shows, too. Mm -hmm. But it's being filmed here. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, it's guess, yeah. American actors. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, well, we no, employ enough British, British actors. British. <laughs> oh, we didn't, you didn't know her. he was British? We broke her. Oh, really? No. <laughs> it's like that here. was a big deal when he became <laughs> Superman, <laughs> and we we still need to watch Immortal when he was really skinny and tiny. Yeah, I got it in 3D. <laughs> I didn't even recognize. I'm like, someone said, "Yeah, Henry Cavill was in Immortal." I was like, "No, he wasn't." Yeah. And I went back with, "Oh my god, he was so little." <laughs> when he got cast as Superman, like I was like, "I don't know about this dude. He looks." like in the face but i don't i don't like he looks apart but how does he act like is he decent so i went and watched immortals and i was like yeah i like this guy for superman <laughs> but so that's why i was wanting to show it to lydia the books of witcher i meant to i was, I was waiting to say this they so the games are their own stories <laughs> and the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, in case you didn't know, Tom Holland is also British. I did know okay. that he's also British. <laughs> also British. Uh, but I didn't know Henry Cavill had a long-time girlfriend that he's basically married to. Why, why are you upset about that? <laughs> why why are you books? upset about that? Have you seen him? <laughs> <laughs> and now he's British? <laughs> he's been He's not just now British. <laughs> now he's British. <laughs> well, in my head he is now. And so he's on the list. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the books. Uh, That's all right. Lauren Corrin's still on my list, so. Anyway, keep going. I, <laughs> don't know what I walked into. <laughs> He's like, this is so awkward. Um, <laughs> the the books. Yes, the books. Um, they <laughs> take place. Some of them take place before the first game. Some of them take place after the first game. Like their stories that take place outside of the games. And the games, like, they have some mentions of the books in, like, some of Geralt's past, like, when he first became a Witcher and everything. But for the most part, hmm. they are they are separate, but together. Okay. Have you read them? So, yeah. What, what is the basic parts. premise of this character, of this story, of this world? I so, already said it. Well, yeah. I mean, not, I mean, Witchers, very, very vaguely. Super vaguely. If I, like, if I was explaining to somebody that didn't understand it at all. Witchers are basically medieval Jedi. Um, okay. They aren't cool. born, they're created. Really? You okay. have to train, like, get to a certain point, become a witcher, then they do a witch rule that basically turns your eyes that yellowy mm. cat eye looking thing. And witchers are hired to kill monsters, but they're basically monsters themselves. So they're, they're, they're mercenary they're, monsters they're, that kill other bad monsters. Okay. So they're when you say they're created, like they're. Like there's a ritual that they have to do. Like, like they're, they're human. It's a human that it's turns a human. into a witcher. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they're not just like poof. There's a witcher. Mm. Okay. Okay. And there's not. By the time Gerald is like in his prime, there aren't that many witchers left. Mm. Like the last witcher that was created that was on his side. Oh crap! I can't remember the little girl's name. She was in Witcher Three. I'll have to look it up in a minute because I can't remember her name. In Witcher Three, you can ride a unicorn too, though, right? I believe so. Yeah, so yeah. there's that. And kill griffins and all sorts of fun things. Very cool. Very cool. I'm super down with this mythology. I just don't know a whole lot about it. Mm -hmm. 
But Witchers always carry two swords. One sword is just a regular sword for killing people, if need be. And the other sword's a silver sword, because all monsters in that world are big. <laughs> they don't have guns, so... Do, or do they? No, no, no guns? They have crossbow. Okay. okay. Medieval. Crossbow. Yeah. Well, I mean, in Final Fantasy, who, who, which is also getting a series, Final Fantasy, they have gun swords, which is... Which is the most ridiculous and amazing yeah, thing ever. yeah. But, like yeah. you can slice and shoot somebody at the same time. That is awesome. Yeah. Boys. <laughs> she can tell but, boys created these things. <laughs> but like, Doesn't make sense, but it's as, cool. <laughs> but like on the level that Game of Thrones is dark, Game of Thrones is low fantasy. Hmm. Witcher is, can be, and half the time is, equally if it's not more dark, but it's high fantasy. Because like magic and monsters are rampant in this world mm. and it is and there are so many things like you, there's a forest where there's literally like tree elves that are living in there and it's just so much so so just just a a quick synopsis of what is the difference between high fantasy and low fantasy is the amount of <coughs> is the fantastic amount of, beings in yeah the world. and the amount of like how a how much magic there is and how it's used mm -hmm. like there was magic in game of thrones but it wasn't you like it, you've seen it maybe like three times and then yeah it was kind dragons. of dying out yeah it was it seemed like it used to be a lot of magic but now it's not and everybody thinks it's not like all that real in this world literally dude can walk up i remember like first time i played the witcher i walked up to somebody and it gave me the option of like trick them i'm like trick them i was like hmm. and i jedi mind trick for. them i smooth went no you're gonna run away and they were like okay and they ran away and i'm like oh wow like he can use magic for anything and it's so he's a warlock pretty much he's kinda. a monster hunting warlock yes <laughs> yeah. sorry <laughs> i just had a, a nerdgasm there <laughs> sorry <laughs> but, on the show <laughs> And there's <laughs> and there's tons of dragons in Witcher, like a oh, lot. Cool. So yeah, like big dragons, like like Skyrim type, like big dragons. like or big dragons, dragons. They're the size of your head, and they can topple a castle. Like smooth. They're the size of your head. You're the size of their head. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, that's no. a little powerful dragon. <laughs> You're the size of their head. <laughs> Like at the beginning of Witcher 2, you like at the end of the little war scene that's going on there, you have to run away from a dragon and it like flies in, blows through half the castle, and then it just starts. Wow. Like all Daenerys on it. Pretty much. Tracaris. <laughs> so. bum, bum, bum. Yeah. 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 Oh, that I forgot. That was something I watched last night on YouTube. Uh, there's this uh, channel called Robot Head, I think, and he did a, a th <laughs> it was hilarious. He did a, a video, I don't even know how long it was because it was just so funny on how bad Game of Thrones season eight was. Wow. And uh, he's got a long intro, so it's kind of weird once you get past that, but once you get into it, dude is funny. Dude is funny. So go, go check him out, don't miss that. So yeah, also worth a mention, Sandman, Neil Gaiman, who is like the it guy right now because of uh, Eternals and he's an author and he's got, and uh, doesn't he also do, uh, what's that show right there, um, right behind you? Uh, his show on stars. Oh, American Gods? American Gods, that's him too, right? I believe so. Yeah, that's Neil Gaiman. Yeah. And, oh, and he's got the Amazon one. That's got the, the boy. No, no, the the one where there's like an angel and demon and they go oh, work together. Good omen. Good omen. Yeah, that's Neil Gaiman too. Like he's got a lot going on, uh, but he is the author. I want to say of Sandman, and they their Netflix is also doing a series on them, on on them those ser that series that series those, them comics. I don't know. It's several different series, but yeah. it's Sandman. This this is one of those that I've heard. Uh, because I love graphic novels, I don't really want to get into necessarily an ongoing series because I don't want to commit just forever an endless thing, uh, which is why I don't do MMO. Uh, but 
uh, like you know limited series i'm i'm down for like i've heard like why the last man sandman preacher like some of these iconic ones sandman is up there from what i understand yes do you have you read it do you know I've read a lot about it some of it i've had friends that are more into it than i am but what i've read that shit's dark mm. it is like, i know andrew posted about it so maybe he yeah knows about it. it's he he knows a lot more because he's heavier into it than i am but it is it is definitely not for the fan part really yeah i kind of like that so we'll see because originally there was supposed to be a movie that was supposed to be made oh. and jason gordon Levitt glevitt was going to be sam and joseph Matt. there we go thank you i do that all the time no i was just making sure yeah joseph gordon levitt was going to be sam really Man. wow but I he see him playing in a lot of dark stuff like that it was supposed to come out in 2000 and they start they mentioned in 2013 it was supposed to come out in 2016 but he dropped out when the someone got brought on for a screenwriter i can't remember who he dropped out and they got brought on then it kind of like went dormant and now it's coming back out with the same people mm. just um as a netflix series interesting and and netflix well netflix sometimes is hit and miss because i from what i understand like uh what was it death note or maybe um uh, full metal alchemist was just not good their adaptation might be full metal because cool. I, I enjoyed Death Note. Okay. No, it's probably Death Note because no one was who they were supposed to kind of be. Full Metal was fun. And I also yeah. enjoyed Bleach. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, they're, they're putting a lot into this. And it's like, I've seen where people are saying it's going to be the next Game of Thrones. So, fingers crossed. And what are we talking about anymore? Sad man. Oh, not Sam. I'm sorry. I was I was going back to the Witcher. Oh, going back My to bad. Witcher. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Yeah. All right. It's okay. Too much. Too much. <laughs> yeah. So we're done with number one, I think. Right. Yeah. Cool. So now on to number two, continuing on of a comic filled and reedy episode. We Don't forget the spoiler warning. Super duper spoiler Just warning. Just reminding you. And we mentioned this earlier. It's a thing I've been reading, caught up on this weekend. It is Doomsday Clock. Look at that nice cover. It's Rorschach with the Trinity symbols on his face. Mm -hmm. But Doomsday. It's, sorry. <clears throat> I was just going to say as a uh, leading in, I'm a huge fan of Watchmen. A lot of people are uh, just because it is like one of the best comic series of all time. Uh, and I, up front, I was not okay with them merging it with the greater dc universe but it seems like they've done a good job so give it a shot and quinn's yeah. gonna tell you all about it i am so for the past couple years it started with a batman flash crossover called the button um the bat button the, kind of it was <laughs> better the, than the bat penis <laughs> They the <laughs> that that was a thing like yeah. uh, a couple months ago they showed Batman. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. What was it? It was the first Batman issue from the Black Label, which is the more adult DC comics. They showed. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> they... It was like more like the Bat form ish, I guess. It or was, was it? It was a whole penis. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I, I guess all I saw was the blurred out version. <laughs> Thank God. But and all the reprints because they got not really backlash. It's like y'all can't put a whole penis in movie in the comics. <laughs> so now in all the reprints, they kind of blackened that area out. So those who got a whole bat penis, <laughs> <laughs> you were lucky. <laughs> yeah, count yourselves lucky. <laughs> it's gonna be worth something someday. <laughs> what did I walk into? <laughs> but um okay yeah back on track back on track <laughs> the that penis i'm sorry <laughs> um the penis the button that's where i was <laughs> they batman flash and you know they were trying to find the watchman they found the comedian's button they're like what is this oh it's the button from the comedian the comedian would he part of the watchman yeah well where are they er so they end oh, up when you say the button you mean like comedians yeah, like his little smiley That's what you just said. okay i'm sorry button. i'm sorry i missed yeah. it i'm sorry it's okay sorry it's, it's all right continue and then 
<laughs> you know, went through some things, reverse flash, just kind of got disintegrated because of Dr. Manhattan, but didn't know that at the time. And through the series, this little 12 part deluxe series event, you've learned a lot. Like there's been interactions between the Watchmen and like all the Justice League, certain members, but mostly it revolves around the fact that Flashpoint, New 52, many, a lot of major events that have happened in the DC Comics weren't the people's fault who we thought whose fault it was. Yeah. like A lot of retconning so is basically what you're saying. Kind of a lot of retconning, but it was a greater overlapping mystery that no one really noticed until now. So they did it right. It wasn't yeah. just kind of like a, oh, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. Cool, like, cool. I like that. For years, everybody thought, you know, the New 52 happened because Flash went back in time and he created Flashpoint, which created a whole nother series of events. But turns out Flashpoint was just another timeline that was created by Dr. Manhattan. And he was the reason that it existed. And Flash just kind of happened to stumble upon it. Hmm. And you have, you know, slowly everyone coming together, trying to find uh, Dr. Manhattan, trying to figure out you know, why he's doing this, why he keeps messing with things. And when you find Dr. Manhattan finally shows up, he is like, I have a vision. Like, this vision is of Superman showing up a month from now. And he and I meet. He's like, I'm going to put an end to you. And then there's nothing. And he doesn't know why like, he looks ahead a year, a day, and a millennia. And he said there's nothing. And he doesn't know if he destroyed all of existence hmm. or if Superman killed him. But he met Superman. They fought on Mars for a, Mars for a second. And he get, he put Superman in a coma. But, and everybody's still like, what's really going on? Lex Luthor figures everything out. He tries hmm. to, you know, go to Lois and this issue and tell her everything but lois is like i don't trust you and she's gonna shoot him in the face oh wow so she killed she Luther? hasn't killed him like she's like if you don't like what i'm saying he says to her before he gives her a gun she points at his head he's like if you don't like what i'm saying just pull the trigger and then i haven't they haven't talked again because in this issue he's built a reputable reputation because he's a bad guy Real bad right guy. right but um uh, also in this issue which is my favorite Dr. Manhattan fights basically all the members of the Justice League and every other team DC has, and he takes them all out without even really trying. Mm. Like, they throw everything they have at him. He says Firestorm is probably the only one that has any sort of chance of beating him because their powers are very similar to each other. Mm. You learn Firestorm wasn't an accident. He was on purpose, and Dr. Stein's a dick. Dr. Stein... Uh, yeah, Dr. Stein, the other half Firestorm. You got uh, Dr. Stein and Roddy? Roddy? Oh, crap. No. Roddy, Roddy Piper? Nope. I can't remember the other... I can't remember his name. It always happens. That guy. I, the other guy. Rowdy. Rowdy? It's on the R. But Dr. Stein was basically working for the government, and he was like, I can create Firestorm, which would be this ultimate weapon, if we ever need it. And so he tricked Ronald. That's his name. Yep, he tricked Ronald, and like they ended up getting caught in the nuclear explosion, and they end up fusing together. But turns out, Doctor Stein was trying to do that on purpose. Oh, so it was not, it's not an accident. No. But yeah, y'all have questions? Ask. Questions. So, all right. Uh, so basically, like Doctor Manhattan is indestructible he is the ultimate overpowered hero the hero slash villain still trying to find that out if he is the villain or the hero and he doesn't remember hold on i'll show you oops i'm scratching things he remembers but like so even like right here i went too many pages ahead he is going back in time and looking at basically all of existence. Mm -hmm. And like there's he smooth is looking at like Superman's first ever appearance. And then okay. he just keeps going through. Can you show? Yep. Hold it up. Oh. So they can see too. Just like in everybody. 
this is hard to turn because they made these pages like where is it it's over here yeah so the first action comics where he's li there. lifting the green car that's superman right over there i don't know dr manhattan uh, goes back and oh. sees that okay there we go yeah seeing that he's going through all history and it's like looking at all of it and how it keeps like restarting itself and why there's so many different iterations of basically everyone of the but entire dc universe mostly superman he's really focused on superman because he's trying to figure out like a can he beat me and b why is he the one that beats me hmm. and then kid flash when he disappears and he's in the speed force he actually ends up running into dr manhattan and he's like tell him you know you can't do this and he's like no i'm gonna still do this <sighs> That's just what is that? Oh, him saying a friend of his die, but at the end of that panel, this is the last thing he says. He who? Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan. He says, I have become the villain right there. So So we kinda knew that, but now we've yeah. seen it unfold. Yeah. And so who did he just kill? He didn't kill anyone. He saw... Oh, he his, saw the death yeah, of... He saw his friend's death. Okay. And he's like, in like 10 seconds, he's going to die. And then he gets shot back in the head. Wow. Okay. So this is a huge, crazy, interwoven mystery. Figuring out how Dr. Manhattan has seen the end of either his days or the end of days. Hmm? End of the metaverse. The metaverse, which is... Like all of existence. All of DC's. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's it's the entire DC universe, including all the parallel universes, all the versions, like yep. the just the, the reality in its entirety. Yes. Okay. That's that's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia's just like, I'm gonna be quiet in this one. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's well good luck whoever so for the average person this is a pretty deep read yeah like there's a lot of history in each one of these because there's so many they introduce like so many characters in ways that you haven't seen them interact with each other before mm. and it's it's like i mean uh, beyond the obvious watchman universe and dc universe yeah, like Rorschach and Joker running across each other. Right. Um, it's it's just really, it's just Watchmen in the DC universe, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're the same universe, kind of. Now. <laughs> now, yeah. I want to see I want to see Rorschach and the question meet, just because they are don't have time for that so headache. similar. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a headache that someone's going to get upset with. <laughs> so... But there's been, yeah, there's tons of interesting interactions. Uh, actually, in issue seven, they actually found out how to drain a... What is his name? I can never remember names when I need to remember names. He wears a head, man. He's a watchman. It's not Asmodeus. Is it Asmodeus? Osm oh, yeah. I'm, I'm confused Osmodeus. about how to say his name because I've heard Os Osmodeus. I've heard Osimandius. I, I don't know. I'm I know it's an Osmodeus. ancient Egyptian name. Uh, that's all I know. I'm going to say Osmodeus. Figured out a way to drain a Green Lantern ring. Not ring, mm. but a Green Lantern lantern. And oh. use that power. Uh, so. Of course, because he's who he yeah. is. Because he used it to, he used it on his cat. So his cat could be a conduit to summon Dr. Manhattan. What? Yeah. Wow, this is this is deep. Yeah, and it gets this really is... weird. And Lydia's like, okay. That's cool. Yeah, she's yeah, not, like, she's not here for cat. this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So he, he takes a Green Lantern power and puts it in his cat and uses his cat to summon Dr. Man. Wow, that's okay. Yeah. That's beyond the comic book science that I'm aware of. But I know that Ozymandias, Ozymandias, however you say his name, if you know He's... conclusively how you say his name, then put it below. I know in the movie, I, th I think that's why I say it the way I say it. But uh, What are they going to do? Type it? Yeah. Well, they can put like the, the pronunciation phonetic, yeah. and stuff. Just it, like we read it in a dictionary. Uh, but uh, he he's a super genius, obviously. 
and the perfect man and all this. And Dr. Check- Manhattan or the other dude? The yeah, uh, Ozzy. Yeah. He, he is, he's, he's not necessarily, well, he is a meta human, but he is a super genius. Yeah. That's his and, power basically. Uh-huh. And so much so that he put Dr. Manhattan in checkmate. Yep. Which is huge. Without Dr. Manhattan seeing it, who can see all realities Literally and all everything. iterations of everything all at once. Bro, he's existing on all planes of existence. Yeah. Yeah. Had conversations like 10 seconds in the future. He's like, sorry, I was having a conversation 10 seconds from now. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Which, yeah, I mean, if you check it out, it doesn't really make sense because how can he be preoccupied with a future self because that future self is is having that conversation not his present self but anyways okay yeah (laughs) before we get into all that uh yeah so this has blown my mind i this is too deep for me super deep (laughs) i'm I'm drowning in all this right now it's partly partly the reason why it hasn't like blown up as much as it maybe not should have but it's more like for like those super deep comic readers that love watchmen that love like all of dc's super duper stars Mm. this is this is for you i can't i can't wait to see i bet when it concludes then you know and everything is wrapped and they put a ribbon on it put a bow on it that's when people are going to be like this is a masterpiece hopefully Hopefully, yeah. This is if it doesn't end up like Game of Thrones ended. <laughs> TV show. They usually don't screw the pooch with us that much. So also just just to mention uh, the Watchmen series that's that's going to be on HBO coming up. Um, looks like it is it's happening after the comics, and it's not necessarily the same exact timeline where everything happened. But maybe, we're not really sure, but it looks like, <clears throat> of course, you know, New York was destroyed in the comics and not, not in the movie because I, I want to say that the TV series looks like it's more connected to the actual comic than the movie that skipped out on the whole alien thing, mm-hmm. uh, alien squid deal. Uh, so uh, New York has been destroyed. They're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's like the new nation capital or something like that. And uh, because it's like Tulsa. central, I guess I don't know, but for whatever reason, we don't live far from Tulsa, so for us, yeah, that's it's like, like two hours away. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it looks like uh, because Rorschach at the end of the movie, even though Ozzy Mandius was or Ozzy whatever, was able to put Doctor Manhattan in check uh, and and him not uh, be able to stop the nuclear explosion and the all the stuff that that ozzy had set up to put everything in check and balance and all that kind of stuff basically thanos type situation um rorschach was going to tell everybody and and because it was the right thing to do and that's rorschach is unyielding uncompromising even in the face of destruction and all that kind of stuff so dr manhattan destroyed him in order to keep the balance so it looks like in this TV series, uh, but before, Ror- well, let me go back a step. Before Rorschach went to confront Ozzy and Dr. Manhattan, he had a journal, which is the entire Watchmen's comic series is following his journal, right? So he sends that journal to, I forget, whatever uh, right wing newspaper. Yeah. And at the end of the series, uh, of course, Rorschach is destroyed, but his journal lives on and it has been put in the hands of somebody else. So in this series, looks like they've published his journal. They have his journal and, and it's begun a cult. And that's why you see all these people saying TikTok to each other. And, and it's like this cult and all these people are wearing Rorschach masks, even though Rorschach is deceased. And all this is going on, and he, and it looks like it has gotten out of hand to the point where it is utter chaos, just like Manhattan predicted. And uh, the police have even started to use uh, superheroes as That's deputies. Right. What is it called again? I forgot. The Watchmen or Watchmen's on HBO. Um. So isn't that a Regina King is in it? Yeah. That's what I was gonna say, Regina King. Mm-hmm. And um, shoot, I can't remember his name. Guy from Miami Vice, like OG dude. 
Yeah. Uh, Why isn't my... it coming up? Well, me. I typed that in too and it didn't come up. Men. M E N. There it is. Watch Men. Yeah, TV series. Yeah, Watchmen. And it is, uh, it's create, written and produced by uh, <clears throat> Damon Lindelof, who did The Leftovers, Lost. Uh, Scott Jeremy Irons, John Johnson, Regina King, mm -hmm. Jacob Ming Trent, oh, Tom sure. Minson, Tim Blake Nelson. Yeah. Uh, Don Johnson is the, the guy that I was talking about from Miami Vice. Uh, yeah, so uh, Jeremy Irons <laughs> is old Ozzy. And so he's like trying to figure out, you know, all this chaos and put it back together. <coughs> they could pick my one better. If you're not excited about anything else for The Watchmen, just be excited that Tim Blake Nelson is in it. He is from Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Yeah, and several other uh, And Holes movies. and just uh, so really many good. things. He's just so, so great. Really if you're not excited about it, for the any other reason, watch it Buster for that. Scrubs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, a lot of Coen Brothers movies. Yeah. Every Coen Brothers movie. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. So it, it looks like it's going to be a great series. Hopefully it's something that I could really sink my teeth into and maybe we'll cover on here. It depends on how things go with the live setup and all that kind of stuff. Because if it's live, then I'll ha actually have time to get into that type of thing. And uh, you all right there, Quinn? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a turtle. <laughs> turtle, turtle. Nice one to Scott. Who had a birthday so, recently? Um, Martin Short. Can I punch you in the face? <laughs> <laughs> she hates it when I do that. So no. we, yeah, we've spent a lot of time on this topic. Is Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey. What is, I never can remember how his name Dana is put together. Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey yeah. had a birthday yeah. recently. I don't know why I said Martin Short. I always get those two confused because they're... <laughs> <laughs> Siri just Siri, how do birthday? <laughs> and Google birthday for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. Number three. TikTok. Big time. Spoiler alert on this one because this, like this comic is coming, is coming out Wednesday. But a lot of uh, comic book shops already have it in stock. A lot of people have already read it. So much so that, uh, excuse me, Robert Kirkman, uh, creator of the Walking Dead comic, has issued a warning. You know, that this, the next issue is going to be huge. Issue 193. If, you're, if you don't want to hear anything about the Walking Dead comic spoilers coming up, tune out now. Wow, you were so upset about it. Look at okay. your eyebrows. <sighs> okay, so they're gone. The Walking Dead is over. Like, it's ending. Like, he said he's done. I don't know. Like, originally, the word came that it was, like, canceled or something. But he said it's not canceled. They're choosing to end it. Apparently, the past 50 issues or so have just not been that great. So, it looks like with the death of Rick and... And the whole Commonwealth storyline that it's just really, just really wrapping up. And they've kind of got a handle on the apocalypse now. And the story ends with, there's a time jump and Michonne has found her daughter. And I think I want to say her daughter has a kid now. Mm -hmm. And Carl, old man Carl is sitting on the, or not necessarily old man Carl, but adult Carl is sitting on the port, rocking chair with his daughter. And that's the way it ends. That's so sweet. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really, yeah, a lot of I people. I mean, can you imagine being, he's written this for most of his life, has been involved mm -hmm. in writing The Walking Dead. I mean, as someone who wants to pursue being a writer, like, I would be exhausted too. Like, that's just like, it takes so much mentally mm -hmm. to try and develop past what you are willing to develop, you know? And so like when you have exhausted yourself on something, like you're mm -hmm. done, you know? So I can understand kind of Robert Kirkman's just ready to wrap this up, tie a bow on mm -hmm. it. And I'm thankful that he's not trying to push it too far. Mm -hmm. I mean, he that, might have. Argumentatively, that's what happened is that he, he said like recently, 
about a month or so ago, he came out and was like, yeah, Walking Dead is not about zombies anymore. And everybody was like, what? How are you going to not be about zombies? And so he was like trying to transition it into something else. They even introduced a new sheriff after they killed Rick. Like a new sheriff of the Commonwealth. Like a new sheriff character. Or, we get it. That is very sure. similar to Rick. To kind of try, it seemed like to kind of spin off and move forward from there, but it just, it just fell flat and fans weren't having it. So it well, looks at least like he, he realized just, that. Yeah, yeah. And that's it's kind of sad to see it go out like that with a whimper ish, I guess. It go. I feel like I mean he got to choose how it went out, and yeah. he just wanted everybody to have a happy ending, which is what doesn't usually happen with like zombie stories. I mean, yeah, especially after all we've been through, it has not been a happy story leading yeah. up to this. Just, the, I mean, the, the the entire story being about Rick and his family and everything, and then trying to move on. Like, I mean, I, they're still trying to expand the greater universe of The Walking Dead. Like, this story has ended, uh, but they're still having like The Walking Dead Typhoon, with which is the the story spinoff happening in China. China. That's still coming out. And they've got and that's still other, a comic. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's going to be. They've got other ones coming out. And, and Robert, Kirk, that's Robert Kirkman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so I mean, yeah. it's not that he doesn't have a passion for this spe specific type of storyline. Right. It's just that like he exhausted Rick's. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It just to see the way Rick went out though is just kind of like. Eh. I feel like. It's either either like for main characters, I feel like they either go out in a giant blaze of glory or they go out unexpectedly mm -hmm. and Rick's was just an unexpected one. Yeah. But here's the thing. It's like, uh, and George R. R. Martin is the king of this. If you're going to, if you're going to take a character out, especially a main character unexpectedly, it needs to, pr it needs to push the plot forward and not just be, Oh, well, that's it. Well, that seems like what Robert Kirkman tried to do and nobody liked it. Uh, it didn't, it, not necessarily, because what came of that? The Commonwealth audacity. Mm. No, not really, because mm. they they jailed the ki the kid that killed him. Yeah, because like they, they they, yeah. Because Commonwealth and Rick's people made a, a pact, a treaty, but the Commonwealth leader, her son, that's the one who killed him, didn't like it, so he's like, no. He just didn't like a Rick, and he didn't like the whole thing that went down. Went to the house, Rick opened the door, pow, right in the chest. Yeah. And then, yeah, Rick found, well, Carl found Rick a few days later. And blah, 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 blah. Yep. Making yeah. that sound. All right, well. So. Yeah. But the, the TV show series with AMC, that is obviously still going on. Um, they are getting, they are inching very, very close to the Commonwealth storyline, especially with, uh, the fear of the walking dead that they are really, really trying hard to tie into everything. And I am kicking and screaming have resolved to go back and catch up on fear, even though I hate fear. Now they've made it relevant and it, it pisses me off <laughs> because I didn't want to watch fear. Fear is going to be the ones to bring in Commonwealth. Yeah. 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 They apparently like this last uh, I the issue, this last episode really, really, really tied in in the helicopter group is what they're calling it. it, it they haven't confirmed that it is the Commonwealth, Commonwealth, but it is basically the Commonwealth. There's a lot of similarities between like the, the people, the armed people, the way they dress and stuff. So how so, many episodes do we need to catch up on? I'm going to go back and watch them all just so I can get I caught know, up. That's on what everything. I'm asking. How many episodes Four is that? Like how many five. seasons are they into fear? I think. Six, six seasons in? No, this is season five, I think. Oh, okay. And there, there are rumors that they're going to end it and kind of just uh, tie it all into the Rick movies and go that direction with it. But mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. And they're, they've got another spinoff coming where it is uh, people who were born. It's going to be filming in Virginia. They've got people who were born in the apocalypse, kind of like Judith, oh. her generation. They're in their early 20s, and they're living out the apocalypse. The true <clears throat> generation Z. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the, here's the thing. Once you introduce, it's like, it's like I don't know what to uh, call it. 
but once you introduce the solution into the storyline, there's a clock. Like the, the clock has started. The the you're in act three. Yep. And so once now that they've introduced the Commonwealth storyline, which is the beginning of the end, how are they gonna start another and he's like, we're just not pay attention to the solution that's over here, and we're gonna go out back in the woods over here. How can you enjoy that knowing that this that the, there's a timer? You know what I mean? Has already begun. So it's, I, mean, I kind of understand what you mean, but I don't understand yeah. like how they're trying to do that. Like what? You know, the end's like on the horizon. Yeah, and then they're yeah, and then they're basically trying to reset and say, look over here. Oh, don't pay attention that we did this over here, even though it's the same universe, and we know, you know, we're out here watching people survive eating turtles like Enid or dogs or whatever, knowing that they're just a few miles away from the solutions. Like, why don't they just? But that's go one there? of the most frustrating things that you enjoy, like. I mean, for me as a reader, like when you, because you're omnipotent in the information that you have with multiple characters and you're like, you're so stupid. The answer's right there. To, you know? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> as, as, but that's what I'm saying is like, there's a clock. You can only do that for so long. I understand. You know, you, if you wear out your welcome in that, then the people become disinterested because they know this is stupid. They're just, they're purposely avoiding the answer. I understand that. I'm confused about what you're saying about like, how are they trying to ignore it? Like it, you're talking about if they continue the fear. No, no, no. This new series, which is which is gonna take place in the future of the current timeline. What new series? The it's new tiresome. Walking Dead TV series that they're doing with the kids. Oh, the oh, kid the kids. The yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm understanding. I mean, we obviously know that the current one is is in it's in decline, blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, but it's probably still got a few seasons left in it, at least to to get all this wound down and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be going on for a while, and and potentially fear they're talking about winding up. I, I there that's open ended. They haven't talked about renewing it or whatever. But <clears throat> we've still got the Rick movies coming. And so that's still a couple years out. We're, I mean, we're talking about 2022 ish that could wind everything up, but they're kicking off a new series that airs next year in 2020. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do two seasons? How are you going to keep that going mm -hmm. when you're wrapping up the main storyline type they thing is what I'm saying. Like a limited series event. Mm -hmm. Just a kind of show like this is how life is years later. Yeah, but who's kind of like going to care? That Parks and Rec did, you yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, well, but that's in, that's still in the same main storyline. How are you going to say here's some new characters to show you how the world? Is? Nobody's going to care because they've already seen that. You know what I mean? Or maybe they're like super. Just go back and watch the first three seasons of The Walking Dead. Or it could be super disjointed from what we know. Unless they are to introduce like some kind of solution or aliens or crazy stuff like that, because they're saying there are rumors that it's about to get super sci fi. That's why I feel like Robert Kirkman, that's part of the other reason I feel like he ended it, because he didn't want to get super weird with it. It's like yeah. zombies, you die, you become one. That's already a thing. I'm not trying to be Resident Evil. Yeah, he doesn't want to, he never wanted to introduce a solution. Yeah. He wanted them to just, this is just how the world is now, and they've adapted. But Which is kind of like where he left it. So, I mean, he got to end it on his own terms, you know? Yeah. But it kind of leaves it open, and it's like, yeah, it's the, world, the way the world is, but did they ever think about looking for one besides when they were in Atlanta at the CDC? I don't know. Like, I mean, that that is is a plot point that is not pursued in the main series but everybody is still super interested in because mm -hmm. i mean we the fans want to see a solution we want to see some kind of resolution for our favorite characters because that's closure exactly yeah uh however which is why people were so upset with the whole carl and rick because those are the ones we care about those are the ones we want to see resolved and when you take that away it's like we just don't care anymore mm. Because, oh, man. you know, it, it's hard to transfer all that. It, it takes a delicate balance to transfer all of the the 
the goodwill that fans have for a character onto another character. Mm. It takes a lot to do that. Yeah. Like even the Star Wars series has has taken a lot of care to make people try to care about Rey and stuff, and still a lot of people just don't care. But that's not what we're getting yeah. into. No, just as an example. Yeah. Anything else? So. It is ending. Yeah, it's over, folks. No, they'll get sued if they call it that. Hmm? The Walking Dead episode, I was thinking, like, the last comic or the, like, the last Rick movie would be called, like, The Day of the Dead. And I was like, oh, someone gets sued. Nicotero would be down with that, though. Yeah. 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 He actually worked on those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would be a nice little roundabout. It would it'd be more of Nicotero's story than the character's <laughs> story. <laughs> Which I might be okay with. <laughs> that would be transcending. That'd be kind of cool. Once again, we'd like to say thanks for joining us on YouTube and or podcast. If you want to keep the conversation going, you can, of course, do that in the comments below. Uh, you can support the show, of course, uh, by doing that, but also in the episode notes. And you could go to the website at www.broken.picturesno.com and get all the information there how to if you want to support the show or get in contact with us as well as our our social media feeds here on the screen and don't forget you can leave us voice messages and or questions if you go to the anchor app or if you go to www.anchor.fm slash the fomo show and we can play it on the show um and uh, YouTube viewers, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon Ding. for notifications when we put out new videos. And all podcast listeners, please give us five stars in your podcast app. We'd appreciate that. And this is Dylan. And I'm Lydia. This is Quinn. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Peace. Bye. Uh...